very, very good Tuesday morning to you. My name is Hilda Wadidi and you are watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday. As you know, this is the show that lets you know how young people out here are making ends meet, how they're enjoying themselves and still getting some checks. So now our first interview for the day on Entrepreneurship Tuesday is a focus on photography. So if you do want to participate in the conversation, do make sure you slide into our DM at Y254 channel on Twitter. The hashtag is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. On Facebook, we're at Y254. On Instagram, at Y254 underscore channel and on dstv we are channel 376 so make sure you do participate so it's about time i introduce the gentleman with me in studio mm -hmm. so focus on photography eh? focus photography is here i know the pan is is twisted focus 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 but anyway let them say good morning <laughs> to you first hi my name is steven Jero. Mm -hmm. focus photography media and publicity Okay. Yep. Uh, my name is Roy and Cherry, uh, mm -hmm. founder of Focus Photography. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go back to the basics. Yeah. Where did you guys find, find your passion in photography? And why did you decide to pick this particular line of work? Uh, I think it found us, if I can say that. Yeah. Um, it's one of those things that I was always curious personally when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad would kind of buy cameras and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe like a week later that camera's gone because mm -hmm. I'm busy messing with it or whatever so mm -hmm. it kind of came to me that mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. uh, and i just always had a fascination with it from from then on mm -hmm. yeah so for how long have you been doing it uh professionally mm -hmm. uh maybe going into our 10th year now 10 years yeah but i used to mess around with cameras since we were kids and mm -hmm. yeah so it's been a really long time okay so yeah. what about you steven um, the superb photographer. Yes, I've mm -hmm. always loved art mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. um, growing up, my big sisters and mm -hmm. brothers were always artistic. My mom is very artistic. Mm -hmm. And later on, mm -hmm. meeting up with Roy, mm -hmm. we always used to uh, do video work, mm -hmm. but love photography. Mm -hmm. And I think that's when we decided also to start doing it professionally. Mm -hmm. But my background is artistic. Your background is very artistic. Yes. Okay, so let me ask you, did you train yourself to do it or did you go somewhere where you needed to train how to do it professionally? I think that's a question most mm -hmm. young people tend to ask themselves. Do I need to train? And where did you guys train? Uh, most of it is actually self-taught. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I went to film school mm -hmm. and I think that's where I kind of developed you my skills a bit. School. Yeah. Which one? Uh, the New York Film Academy. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's kind of where I developed... Uh, my understanding of film and photography mm -hmm. but the basics were already kind of ready there mm -hmm. i'd already started so you you can do it yourself you can mm -hmm. sort of start it from just a basic just having a phone and mm -hmm. kind of teach yourself from there you so know. it's just passion it's it's just if passion, you like really, it yeah. you just yeah, teach yourself exactly exactly what about you steven um my undergrad is in communication mm -hmm. um back in the day mm -hmm. kind of old mm -hmm. um we <laughs> didn't have film uh -huh. like we do now mm -hmm. so my background was in communication mm -hmm. but um again my diploma was really hands-on because mm -hmm. back when i did my diploma mm -hmm. we were actually doing photography with film mm -hmm. and you know wash a picture mm -hmm. you know that mm -hmm. back in the day kind uh -huh. of photography uh -huh. you had to finish the film before you start a new one mm -hmm. um, so my background is a bit different because mm -hmm. um, of the basics that I went through but yes mm -hmm. to answer your question mm -hmm. I think if it's a field that you feel you want to get into mm -hmm. it's also good to get the books mm -hmm. so that you can be what we now call a professional okay. you can back it up with the paperwork mm -hmm. and you do it uh, practically Okay, interesting. So now I like the fact that you've mentioned that back in the day things were done very mm -hmm. differently. <laughs> Technology has really changed yeah. from the, from back then until now. How have you guys been able to keep up with it? To keep up with the new technology, to use the new equipment, the new software, because mm -hmm. now everything went uh, digital. How did you guys transition and manage to stay afloat for almost 10 years? It's a constant transition. You have mm -hmm. to keep up mm -hmm. with everything that comes. Every, you have to be knowledgeable with the latest equipment, the mm -hmm. latest software. Mm -hmm just to stay competitive mm -hmm. um yes you can be niche and i've seen there's photographers who still use film mm -hmm. and that's that's fantastic but mm -hmm. you'll have maybe a few headaches trying to process film and all that stuff mm -hmm. um but to stay i think to stay competitive you have to keep up with mm -hmm. what's happening now so we we're, we're kind of old we're dinosaurs mm -hmm. in a bit but so we have to kind of like the dinosaurs. yeah <laughs> but we have to evolve mm -hmm. and be like no we have to do this mm -hmm. otherwise we'll be just left behind 
Okay, so let me ask a question that most people tend to ask specific photographers mm -hmm. because I think it's different for all of you. Yeah. What do you call, what do you categorize as a good picture? What, what factors do you look for for you to say now this is a good picture? Uh, that is, oh, that is such a <laughs> tricky question. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could say things like um, mm -hmm. composition and mm -hmm. lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've also realized, I've come to realize that mm -hmm. everyone's taste is different. Mm -hmm. Something that I find compositionally mm -hmm. fantastic, mm -hmm. someone else could just find completely nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, then it doesn't attract them, it doesn't draw them in. Mm -hmm. And vice versa, you know, something else that's maybe underexposed, someone mm -hmm. might think that's fantastic, but to my I'm like, well, mm. So I think it's completely subjective. Mm -hmm. um, but there are fundamentals that mm -hmm. of composition and lighting that mm -hmm. make a good picture, mm -hmm. technically, mm -hmm. yeah. What about you, Steven? What do you believe makes a good picture, considering you're the superb photographer? <laughs> I think it's, again, <laughs> subjective, but... Uh -huh. It depends on what you're doing the picture for. Mm -hmm. If it sends the message Ooh, that uh -huh. you wanted it to send. So for you, it's about the cause? It's about the cause, uh -huh. yes. Because, as he said, mm -hmm. you'll do something different mm -hmm. for something. Mm -hmm. And someone wants a low ex exposed photo because mm -hmm. of a certain reason. Mm -hmm. And someone wants a good exposure photo because mm -hmm. of a certain reason. Mm -hmm. So for me, at the end of the day, it tells the message. Because mm -hmm. a picture is supposed to say, more than a thousand words. Uh, uh -huh. So if it does that for you, mm -hmm. whichever method you can achieve, mm -hmm. then that's a good photo. Well, before, before uh, I think we'll go back to that because when we look at some of your work, I think when you explain how you took some of the pictures, mm -hmm. we'll be able to see some of those aspects being brought mm -hmm. out. But um, uh, in the spirit of Entrepreneurship Tuesday and trying to promote the young people that are trying to get into this, as a photographer, what is it that I must have? What should I, what should I have? Like for the basics, the basics, if I wanted to become a photographer today, what tools do I need? Basic, basic, the most basic. Uh -huh. Drive and passion. Mm -hmm. Drive and passion. Yeah. What about your equipment, camera? <laughs> if you've got a phone, most uh -huh. I would say most young people mm -hmm. might probably have a phone, mm -hmm. and which has a camera. Mm -hmm. You have you can you can get started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the equipment is not. That's not what I think you should be worrying about mm -hmm. at the beginning. As long as you have the drive and the passion for it, mm -hmm. that's a good place to start. Steve, do you feel yes. like you want to add on that mm -hmm. on. drive and passion? No, because at the end of the day. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. What I've also come to realize after these many years mm -hmm. of photography, mm -hmm. I also tend to believe it's not the equipment mm -hmm. that you have, it's mm -hmm. the idea. Mm -hmm. Because many people don't have um, lights mm -hmm. and flash, speed mm -hmm. lights, mm -hmm. and different type of lenses. Mm -hmm. But if you have the idea in your head, mm -hmm. you'll find a way of achieving it, mm -hmm. even using the sun. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's as I said, it's what you have in your mind, mm -hmm. trying to bring it out. Mm -hmm. The equipment comes to help you do that. Okay, so I want to understand how you two met. Mm. That's something else that, uh, that people are curious about. How did you guys meet? It's, Where did it's, this it's, union it's, begin? <laughs> it's not something I wanted, uh -huh. but it just happened, <laughs> I guess. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> no, we used to work together uh, mm -hmm. at a company called Blackstar, mm -hmm. uh, which was uh, uh, events company but we also do used to do tv shows and Whoa. various things uh -huh. so i i had joined in 2008 mm -hmm. um working on a tv show mm -hmm. and i think he came just a few years later mm -hmm. um and then we just clicked and yeah from there just and you decided to start focus photography yeah well actually i started focus mm -hmm. with another friend of mine who mm -hmm. i've known for since i was born basically mm -hmm. family friends mm -hmm. um but we didn't realize that we both liked photography mm -hmm. until much later. Mm -hmm. And when we did, we we're like, well, why don't we come together and start something new? And so we did. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, and then Steve came over a mm -hmm. bit later, yeah. Tell me about the process of forming the name. Focus. Focus. <laughs> I can tell a photo. Yeah. Focus. Like I said, we're old, right? Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> in the 90s, mm -hmm. there was this whole thing about uh, pH, mm -hmm. fat. Uh, mm -hmm. Like you say, that's fat. And it was pH. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, my partner was like, well, it should be focused on the pH. And mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? Like, and you just it's ran with and it. We just ran with it, yeah. Okay, I think so also it's kind of laziness because at that point we had <laughs> gone through so many names and like, yeah, you know, focus is fine. You had given up yeah. and it came to looking for names. <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, let's talk about um, some how you got yourselves out there. 
How, mm. how you guys put yourself on the market? When you decided to take your pictures, how much did you even sell your first photo for? You know, how did you get your presence online? I think that's a story you would like to hear. I like how you talk about online. We were way before <laughs> online. Like, yeah, dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> uh, so we, I think when we started, it was, mm -hmm. it was word of mouth, basically. Mm -hmm. was, I mean, I think our first wedding was for free, and then the next person kind of saw a photo. We built a website. Oh, you did a few pro bonos. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. When we started, it was mostly pro bono. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, yeah, that's when we, we started using Facebook mm -hmm. and our website to kind of promote our work a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it took a couple of months, I'd, I'd even say almost a year before we actually started getting paid mm -hmm. um, on a regular basis. Almost a year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so these things just, require patience. Yeah, a lot of patience. You forgot to mention that yeah. in the yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> requirement. Is one, uh -huh. You're not just going to go out there and immediately start earning money. Like, you know, mm -hmm. it takes a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, and I wish... Like, I wish I'd done maybe a mentorship mm -hmm. before that. I, d I never had that chance. Mm -hmm. Um because we just went straight into it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that's something that's really important that's kind of missing these days. Back in the day, mm -hmm. if you were getting into photography, you would kind of be under the tutelage of a professional photographer who would kind of show you the ropes and then you kind of learn that way. Ah. Uh, so that's another way which is, um, uh -huh. I think, is being lost but kind of should come back as well. The apprenticeship. Yeah. Apprenti apprentice apprenticeship. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so one of, it's been a long time. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, Stephen, let's talk about you. I think, are we supposed to mention that we had a company before? Mm, There's no sure. problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Say it all. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, again, also about the photography, mm -hmm. we've also had a company before mm -hmm. that was called Why Not. Mm -hmm. That's why my Instagram handle is Steve Why Not. Mm -hmm. Why Not? Mm -hmm. Yes, because that was a company mm -hmm. name back then. Uh -huh. yeah. So again, mm -hmm. even then we were still doing a lot of photography mm -hmm. and I think it also kind of helped mm -hmm. because we, we had material mm -hmm. from way back. Mm -hmm. We just didn't open focus photography and begin mm -hmm. from scratch. Mm -hmm. We've been doing photography from mm -hmm. way back when. Mm -hmm. So when the digital platform came on, mm -hmm. we started uploading, mm -hmm. and it also helped uh, apart from word of mouth. Apart from word of mm -hmm. mouth, yeah. wow. So you guys have basically been even stacking your work. You've been doing the work, yeah. whether or not the opportunities came. Yeah. So opportunities need to find you ready yeah, as well. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at some of your pictures, sure. and then we can talk about your style mm -hmm. and the techniques well, when it comes to that. So I sure. think if we can have it on the screen, it would be really good to have some of the pictures. Yes, 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 yes. Now we have this one. Who took <laughs> this one and what was happening? Uh, this was an engagement shoot mm -hmm. uh, for this lovely couple. Mm -hmm. um, and they just wanted something very natural and mm -hmm. uh, just out in the open and in nature. Uh -huh. um, so fortunately, we found this place in Karen. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and uh, it was, it was, uh -huh. they, were, they were like, I think one of our favorite uh -huh. clients. They were very relaxed, very chill, open to suggestions. They were natural themselves. Very natural, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, 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 very natural. I can see one Sarah Hassan yeah, here. Yeah, Sarah Hassan. The queen um, of plan B. Yeah, so this was uh -huh. uh, at Sovereign Suits uh -huh. in Lemuru. Uh -huh. um, it was actually for a Mm -hmm. pilot for a TV show. Mm -hmm. um, so I was just doing the kind of behind the scenes mm -hmm. photos and uh, yeah, there was this window and I just thought, well, I don't want any extra light from it. Mm -hmm. Just have this lovely light coming from the window and... Because um, they can see the darkness. So yeah, the shadows are see, really, yeah. yeah, really loved it. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's another friend of ours. Mm -hmm. uh, she's actually a makeup artist and she kind of did makeup on herself. Oh, so now you had to take a close-up. So yeah, so I really wanted to get the, the, the detail <laughs> and stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, that was... That was that one. She's yeah. also a photographer. She's, She's also, also a photographer, photographer yeah. herself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is happening here? <laughs> this was <laughs> for um, Blankets and Wine. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was like sometime last year. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and he was one of the performers. And mm -hmm. we just wanted to try something different, just mm -hmm. minimal light. I think it's just one light on that one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we just wanted to play around with the shadows. And uh -huh. yeah, that's keep it simple, basically. I that's, can see the way the light was just focused yeah, on his exactly. heart. And nothing just blowing out the face or anything. What do you call that? What what technique is that? What do you call it? It's um, just a Roy thing. It's just a focus thing, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's ooh, let's talk about this. Oh, what Ms. is happening? T, with the uh, she was a, she's a well, I don't know if she's, she's a musician. She was a musician.
musician. I think she's not. Uh -huh. I think she's more into makeup now. Uh -huh. um, yeah. So she needed some promo uh -huh. pics, um, which a lot of artists come and they always constantly need to update their uh -huh. catalog and their photos that they can use for the next couple of months or year or whatever. Uh -huh. So yeah, she needed some uh, promo pics. So uh -huh. we really wanted to focus on like just a close up of her face. And Why? Well, what is the, what is the what is the what is the what is the story when you focus on someone's <laughs> face? Like, for me, it's story? always about the eyes. Uh -huh. So I always want to capture as close to the eyes as possible and keep the eyes because mm -hmm. that's the first thing as humans you're drawn to uh -huh. you instant the first thing you do is look at the eyes and then you look at everything else mm -hmm. so for me i always that's my biggest focus this how is do just, you uh, get babies to focus because i can <laughs> see you have a baby over here how this is maybe one children? of <laughs> hundreds <laughs> of photos <laughs> yeah so you just have to be ready for uh -huh, the moment uh -huh. yeah babies you can't really tell them anything so, I can imagine yeah, yeah so you just you just have to be ready for, uh -huh. for them basically <laughs> they're not gonna wait for you basically so you have to be the one who is uh, typing yeah, properly basically, your timing yeah. has to be correct wow oh that is my sister uh -huh. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh. uh, so this was the mm -hmm. pre-wedding mm -hmm. shoot mm -hmm. very randomly um, I just had this idea mm -hmm. I, as you're driving down towards Naivasha there's this oh yes, yes, yes. oh this is where you guys sit and uh, we ran down there first scary? thing in the morning now that's the thing <laughs> in fact <laughs> so there's a guy uh -huh. who actually stopped on, as we had parked uh -huh. and he's like what are you doing and we're like oh we're taking photos he's like don't do that here in the bush like run yeah. you will get <laughs> so we, really, we did this very quickly uh -huh. and ran off but it was lovely like there's, there's another one where it was foggy and uh -huh. it was really nice yeah I can see a superstar here Adele, Adele Onyango. Onyango yeah so she's been with us like mm -hmm. taking photos with us for the longest time mm -hmm. um, yeah so every year or so she mm -hmm. updates her mm -hmm. photos and yeah she always comes by and yeah we always have what, what is this? Fun. What is this technique? Thing? <laughs> what, what is this three? What is what? What, what was the story here? What is the story? What was the cause? Steven, you're big on causes. Mm. What was <clears> happening here? As I said, if this, the picture is speaking to you, then <laughs> it's working. Uh -huh. um, but the it's a fun technique to try out as a uh -huh. photographer. Uh -huh. um, we won't reveal our technique. <laughs> okay, because so whoever wants to try it, because it's it's. Very simple to do, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, but you just need a little patience. With yeah. it. And I have to say, uh, having a good client like uh, Adele who's willing to experiment, you know, mm -hmm. you tell them, I've got this idea, and they're like, yeah, okay, fine, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's always fun to work with people like that. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they allow you to be creative, so ah. that's, that's always fun. So also some of your clients do assist even in Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Wow. Yeah. I can see another love story. Yeah, no, you. this is a cute little oh. wedding scene. Um, like you're big on love stories. <laughs> we well. like shiny, happy people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's always fun. It's more fun to capture, you know, people who are, like, I having saw fun. something like wildlife. On yeah, your, on we do that website. as well. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Can you? Is there a difference? Like, can you take us through the big difference when it comes to taking pictures of humans and taking pictures <laughs> of <laughs> The difference is you just <laughs> you just have to be ready. That's mm -hmm. like you can't tell a lion to sit still and you know just <laughs> just tilt your head like this just a little bit. Uh -huh. You just have to be ready. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but it, funny enough, that's what I initially wanted to do mm -hmm. when I first started out. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't know why I haven't done it for a really long time. Mm -hmm. But actually, yeah, I'm well, going like to get back into that. Babies are kind of... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Well, life and babies. Yeah, yeah. Steven, you've not shown the babies nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a, a small baby. Uh -huh. yeah, and I've He can like, attest. Yeah. To, I, yeah. I don't have pictures of her like for four months. Mm -hmm. She's always running. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. It's yeah. hard to get it. Yeah. You need the patience. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about something that you've talked about, which mm. is dealing with people. Mm. Um, I can imagine in your industry you have, like I can see able to interact with a lot of celebrities um, how do you deal with a difficult uh, client or oh, you take photos and they're like no nah, I don't like to do this <laughs> actually do we've do? been super mm -hmm. lucky actually mm -hmm. uh, we've never had mm -hmm. a difficult client um, mm -hmm. they're usually very open to mm -hmm. our ideas and mm -hmm. where always want to hear what they bring to the table mm -hmm. um, I can't think of anyone who's been no, like not that, that you mentioned them. Yeah. Just no, 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 I, I genuinely <laughs> cannot think of anyone who was like uh -huh. difficult. Really, mm -hmm. they were all pretty, pretty decent people. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, pretty easy to work with. Yeah. So I the think, superb uh, photographer is your story the same? I I think the thing is, mm -hmm. if you meet with your client mm -hmm. and you have 
your pre-planned mm. uh, shoot mm -hmm. and you know what you're going to do, mm -hmm. then it and you deliver what you say you're going to do, mm -hmm. then it becomes a bit hard to get mm -hmm. an irate customer. Yeah, and I also think like it's ah. it's nice to have a rapport, like uh -huh. even before you started shooting, it's uh -huh. good to talk and just get to know each other a little bit mm -hmm. and see if it's a good fit. Um, so yeah, so far we've just been lucky because mm -hmm. we start t talking to someone and they're very, you know, you just get along. So mm -hmm. it makes it a lot easier on the shoot. Okay, so how do you retain your friendships, your, your customer? Uh, relationships mm. what what do you do what do you do, do is it that you do you hang out with them do you make a, a personal point of knowing like maybe their lives what do you guys do to, to, we to pay keep them. up with we them we pay them once in a while you pay <laughs> them <laughs> keep coming back uh-huh your models yeah. mm -hmm. no i mean again it's, it goes back to being having a rapport with mm -hmm. them um a lot of these guys we end up just being friends and yes. yeah we can hang out with them yes. uh, after work um mm -hmm. we, but when it's professional we keep it professional mm -hmm. um but we you kind of know your boundaries as mm -hmm. well you know you don't just start calling people out for no reason mm -hmm. and, you know, <laughs> it's like okay we took photos of you but mm -hmm. we're not actually mm -hmm. best friends now <laughs> so you have to keep a professional kind of uh -huh. uh, um, relationship and uh, yeah I can imagine that's that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I can imagine you've come uh, as much as you've been in the industry for a minute. Mm -hmm. The market has now become saturated. Now we yeah. have so many photographers mm -hmm. uh, coming up uh, all over the place, um, all over the country, yeah. all over yeah. the world. Mm -hmm. Everybody is now taking mm -hmm. photos. How do you deal with the competition? How do you manage to stay afloat? I think um, mm -hmm. <coughs> one is the 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 word professionalism for mm -hmm. me has been misused a lot. Mm -hmm. um, someone will call himself a professional, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but doesn't have the basic tenets of being a professional, mm -hmm. and that's where the difference comes in. Mm -hmm. And once you even in your own life mm -hmm. work with a professional, mm -hmm. you'll always find the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it goes to anything as simple as even going to a car wash. Mm -hmm. you, you can go to a car wash on the roadside mm -hmm. and he treats you professionally mm -hmm. like he doesn't pinch money from somewhere mm -hmm. your car. You know? mm -hmm. And that's what the difference is. Mm -hmm. So even if the market is saturated, mm -hmm. whenever you uh, encounter mm -hmm. a professional, mm -hmm. you'll always know the difference between a professional mm -hmm. and someone who bought a nice camera and has nice equipment mm -hmm. and has a big name on social media. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it, it's even as simple as keeping time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's oh, for me. As simple as keeping time. Yeah, yeah. just uh -huh. as mm -hmm. simple as keeping time. Uh -huh. And as something also as simple as mm -hmm. if I meet and tell you this is what I'll do mm -hmm. and I do it, mm -hmm. I deliver it on time, uh -huh. those simple things mm -hmm. will keep you uh, very different from someone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and also uh, it, it's a, this might sound weird, but mm -hmm. don't get comfortable. You mm -hmm. can't get comfortable in mm -hmm. this industry. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, you might have been doing this for ten years, and your name is out there, but every single day mm -hmm. there's another ten new photographers. So mm -hmm. you cannot get comfortable. You, mm -hmm. they are now coming up, so you have to like keep trying to Leveling outpace up. them yeah um you can't just sit back and say well uh people know me now so that's mm -hmm. the end of that no you just have to always level up yeah okay interesting so let's talk about some of the challenges and the changes mm -hmm. you would mm -hmm. like to make when it comes to the photography industry or should i call the media industry <laughs> in this country maybe, maybe not specifically photography yeah. are there any trends or changes that you think the government can make to make your life easier or the government yes even just generally, even just the environment, like what can be done better, even in our country, in terms of the laws and rules mm. that would make your lives easier. Is there any encounters that you've had that have been very disturbing? Like, Ooh, I, see, yeah. like I see the one you talked about mm. um, when you went to take the picture of in the bush. Yeah, yeah. It comes security, to security. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about that. Which is weird because mm -hmm. that, yeah, that day, I mean, we, a guy literally stopped on us, like mm -hmm. he was heading to wherever, mm -hmm. and he still had to stop us and be like, just be careful because mm -hmm. of security. Mm -hmm. But there was another day we were shooting in town, mm -hmm. and city council were on us like that, mm -hmm. you know, and they were willing to take me to to jail. Uh -huh, and yeah. I'm like, <laughs> we weren't like on the street, we were kind uh -huh. of off to the side. Uh -huh. And I mean, I think they just wanted something, something. but. Mm -hmm. Those are the kind of things I wish were better addressed mm -hmm. um, by our government, but mm -hmm. I don't know, that's, that's a personal thing. Stephen, head of publicity, mm. please, can you say um, something? Mm. I'd like to speak on more the mm -hmm. photographers. Mm -hmm. I think uh, many people have always tried to form 
something mm -hmm. um, so that like when we do photography, mm -hmm. uh, you can tell who the professional photographers are mm -hmm. and who the not so professional photographers are uh -huh. so that uh, clients mm -hmm. who need to walk in can kind of like distinguish who's who ah. for me. That, that would be good. So like a database. Yeah, so that kind of like the guys who are doing good stuff yeah. are uh, separate from the people who are Oh, you want, people, you want to be categorized, you <laughs> yes. want to be having professional hierarchy. Amateurs. <laughs> like. Yeah, because there, there are so uh -huh. many factors. Like, yeah. someone would come and tell you, I want to take a picture for a hundred bob, mm -hmm. and someone else will charge you a thousand. Yeah. You'll see the difference at the end, mm. but when you walk in, yeah. of course, you'll want to you pay one hundred. Yes. And that's why I want to put that kind of like professionalism mm -hmm. different from walk-ins and mm -hmm. um, people who are not yet there yet mm -hmm. yeah so, so that we can also chartered. <laughs> yeah so that you can also grow the ones who are coming up yes and mm -hmm. just distinguish between the two but okay. i think that might if uh, that <laughs> might kind of stifle the industry or at least <laughs> the you know the the amateurs because they might not never get jobs because of something like that, you know? You like if, them. yeah? If Put there's them. a data under the wing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so it goes back to yeah. apprenticeship. Okay. It yeah. might work, yeah, it might work. It's Fair also in the, in the area of yeah. appre yeah. apprenticeship, yeah. I would, I, so to speak. Um, um, it's about time we conclude this mm -hmm. uh, uh, interview. But I'd like, uh, as a parting shot, for, for photographers out there, I know you've seen a lot, mm. you've given a lot of knowledge already, mm -hmm. but as a parting shot, aside from drive and passion and patience, oh, what else can you tell? someone at home who is interested in this get started uh -huh. now uh -huh. if you again you've got a, you've got a camera in your pocket mm -hmm. um, there's nothing limiting you mm -hmm. uh, that's a great thing about photography mm -hmm. if you've got the sun mm -hmm. a bit of light mm -hmm. and a cam I can't see any like too many limitations mm -hmm. to your passion mm -hmm. and there shouldn't be Mm -hmm. um, and you have to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't just wake up with cameras in our hands. Mm. We have to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to experiment as well. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to, mm -hmm. just because you're seeing this person doing that, and you're like, ah, I can never get to that level. No, mm -hmm. no, no. You do your thing. Mm -hmm. People will gravitate to you. Mm -hmm. It's, that's the great thing about photography and art in general. Mm -hmm. People will gravitate to your art, to your truth, mm -hmm. and... Be happy with what you do first, and mm -hmm. then worry about the rest later. So get started and explore. Yeah. And then, and, and, and the universe will do its yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what about you, Steven? Um, I want to say again, if you're trying to do it as a profession, mm -hmm. uh, where you want to do photography and make money out of it, mm -hmm. uh, be professional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just uh, read what it needs to be a professional mm -hmm. and do it. If it goes, if it means getting the paperwork mm -hmm. and after you get the paperwork mm -hmm. when you start working be professional mm -hmm. um, keep time mm -hmm. keep your books mm -hmm. and even if you're an amateur mm -hmm. going in mm -hmm. all these things will come in mm -hmm. to fruition a little later mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you'll see the fruits of being a professional mm -hmm. yes I can also see patients hidden somewhere inside. All, mm. all the tenants so of that's being a professional. Okay, can you please let the fans know your social media handles as well? Okay. Where they can reach you in case they yeah. want to um, on even IG, be mentored. Yeah, on IG <laughs> we're focus underscore photo. So mm -hmm. focus PH. Mm -hmm. PH fat. Mm -hmm. um, focus for fat. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> our website focusphoto.co.ke mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Facebook we are fa focus photography. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for coming to the studio. Thank you. Have a um, beautiful day. Who is breakfast? Yes, you've been talking to the gentleman from Focus Photography. We've had Stephen Jeru and Juan Roy and Cherry. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Please do not go anywhere. It's Entrepreneurship Tuesday. We've been talking about photography. If you wanted to get in the industry and you've just tuned in right now and you've missed it, don't worry. At 2 o'clock, we are coming back. So make sure you do follow up. And also on YouTube, we're at Y254 channel. My name is Hilda Wadidi. One more time, please do stand by for Juan Barry Moses.